Uh, well, I'm always running around, wake up, get the kids ready for school, go to work, come home, cook dinner. As a working mum, Rosa Braithwaite has plenty on her plate, which means the dinner plate often leaves a bit to be desired. But she's hoping that's about to change now. She's the proud owner of a crock pot. I got a great new slow cooker for my birthday and I just want to know what to do with it. Enter author and chef Alison Tate. Okay, well there's lots of things you can do and the beauty of these, as you probably are aware, is you can put the food on in the morning, go to work, come into the home, beautiful aroma, everything's going well and you go, hey presto, here's dinner. This low fuss family favourite is perfect for winter casseroles and stews, but Alison says don't be afraid to get creative with your crock pot. Today she'll show Rosa how to cook Moroccan chicken, silver side and potato and leek soup all in the slow cooker. To ensure all your ingredients cook evenly, it's best to cut them into similar sized pieces. And Alison recommends sealing meat in the frying pan before you pop it into the pot. You don't actually have to do this. If you really push for time, you can just put it in, but it really it makes it taste nice. For casseroles, make sure the meat is covered in liquid so it doesn't dry out. If you're adapting an oven recipe, you'll need to halve the amount of liquid you use. To save even more time, you can try one of these new slow cooker sachets. Mm -hmm. I mean, beef, beef goulash has probably 20 different ingredients if you follow an old-fashioned recipe. With mm -hmm. this, you open the packet, mix it with water and in the in. slow cook pot, and you know what? It's not half bad. While there's no doubt this set-and-forget method of cooking is super convenient, remember your slow cooker is an electrical appliance, so play it safe. I would say that you would always keep it on low while you're out of the house for safety reasons and also to control the cooking. If there's a power failure during the cooking process, don't risk it. I would not want to eat a chicken stew or a meat or pork or anything where the, the power's gone out halfway through. I mean, it's dangerous. So, yeah, you're going to have to throw it out, I'm afraid. So I'd be on the phone to the electricity company and say, you've ruined my dinner. If the recipe includes milk or cream, add it in the last 30 minutes. Because you don't want dairy in there all day long. I mean, from a bacteria point of view, and also because the cream will split, it will separate. It's cooked for too long. One of the reasons why slow cookers are becoming more and more popular is because they're so economical. You don't have to use an expensive cut of meat to make a great meal. In fact, butcher Troy Rouston says the cheaper cuts are often better. They just contain a little bit more fat. It keeps the meat a lot moister. And when you're slow cooking, you need that to keep everything going well. The Osabuke. Being on the bone creates a lovely flavour with the marrow and the bone in your stew. If you don't like such a strong flavour, you'd buy something boneless like the, the lean chuck steak there. With chicken, wings, drumsticks and thighs are best. What about chicken breast? Chicken breast will turn out a little bit too dry. You're best off with the cheaper cuts like the thigh fillets there. Even cheap cuts you might not usually consider can be perfect when slow cooked. What about the tail? The tail, something that hasn't been seen for a lot of years. The oxtail, beautiful again on the boat on the bone, creates a lovely flavour through the stew, breaks down very nicely and holds a lot of the flavour. Lamb shanks are also good and can be prepared in a variety of tasty ways. And with these delicious dishes, Alison has proven why the humble crock pot is still a winner this winter. We've made some Moroccan chicken, a little bit of couscous just as a nice accompaniment to go with it. We've done a nice beef goulash with some dumplings, leek and potato soup and of course our wonderful silver side that's roasting nicely away there. Who would have thought we could make all that in a slow cooker? Easy.